Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Minnie and Me offered by Garden City Arts. My name is Miss Katie and today I'm going to be walking you through step by step on how to paint this cute little piggy painting playing in mud. So first if you got a kit from Garden City Arts make sure you lay out your colors in the order that you see them here numbers one through five on your foam plate make sure you have some brushes handy you'll need um, various sizes a lot of small brushes today as well and of course your chalk paper towel and some water if you have all of those things then you are ready for step number one and we're going to begin right now all right step number one pick up that chalk we're going to draw out our pig first now the biggest part of our piggy is the head the rest of our piggy is behind her head uh, kind of sitting plain in mud so we're going to draw this head pretty big and it's going to be pretty much in the center of our canvas um, if you need to you can make yourself some guidelines so these points are for the side of your piggy space and then the points one on the top and one on the bottom are for the top and bottom of your piggy space um, now the bigger the dots the farther away they are the bigger your piggy's head will be the closer they are, the smaller your piggy's head will be. And then you just connect the dots by creating some nice curved lines. And I'm kind of ignoring my dots, kind of doing what I want. I can erase with my chalk, which is a really handy dandy thing. All you have to do is take a clean, damp brush and scribble away, and that chalk will come right up and disappear. So I can fix all of my mistakes before I move on. And make sure your pig has a nice round face. Mine is kind of more of an oval, and I like that. Now, next we're going to put on ears. I'm gonna go back to my points and put a dot on either side of my piggy's head. Then I'm gonna start right at the dot, make a big curved line, and it needs to touch our piggy's head. So it starts with a point and then it's a big curvy line that reaches down and touches our piggy's head. Now you can make it just one big curve or you can curve in a little bit to make it look a little bit more shapely. You can make your piggy's ear however you want. You wanna make sure your ears are fairly even or fairly symmetrical so they look like the same on both sides. Next, we're gonna put a little bowl underneath our piggy's head that's for his or her body. Now, the bigger you make the bowl, the, um, I think the smaller you make it, the more cute your piggy looks and the bigger you make it, the less cute, but it's up to you. Next, I'm going to fix my mistakes and then move on to the legs. Underneath the piggy's body, we're gonna put some legs. So I'm gonna put one straight leg coming down and another one, they're not, parallel so they don't run perfectly straight to one another they kind of point inwards a little bit do you see that then i can put on two curved lines for the piggy's feet next i'm going to reach behind and do another leg and one more and we're done all you have to do now is draw a line down the center and your piggy is complete now no pig is complete without his or her mud hole so I'm going to go behind the pig's head and start by drawing a nice curvy line, uh, wavy line, I should say. This wavy line can wave right off the bottom of the canvas or you can stay on the canvas if you prefer. All right, if you have this drawn out, then you are ready to move on. Let's go on to step number two. Step number two is pretty easy. All we're going to be doing is outlining all of our chalk lines. We're gonna use color number one. This is just a nice dark pink color. Now, I'm gonna show you really fast a few things about your paint. First, you can grab your paint, and if you need to, my paint's a little dry. If you need to, you can put it on your paint palette and mix some water into it. Uh, my paint is very dry. Yours will not be this dry, especially if it's a newer kit or straight out of the tube and you want to load up your brush you mix a little bit of water into your brush we're using a round brush it has a point like a pencil and we're going to go over our chalk lines i start at the top 
and work my way down. Now, the more water you mix into your paint, the uh, lighter it becomes or more transparent. So transparent means that you can see through it. So you wanna be careful not to mix too much water into your paint, okay? Little bit goes a long way. If you mix too much water in your paint, then it becomes very transparent and you'll see the green through it. Now I'm just gonna go along my lines outlining. You see, I'm not really picking up my brush a lot and I'm making pretty thick wide lines. That's okay. Now, if you want thinner lines, you put less pressure on your brush and it'll make a thinner line. So less pressure, the thinner the line, more pressure, the thicker the line. Do you see that? Much thicker. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the video, outline everything, and then we'll move on. Okay, we're gonna move on to step number three. Step number three involves color number two. Now, this color we're going to use to paint inside of our pink lines. So, you can use a big, huge brush like this if you're comfortable using bigger brushes and you've painted a little bit. But if you're new to painting, you might use a smaller brush, especially when you get into those little teeny tiny areas. You might even have to use a round brush, okay? So we're going to, I'm really fast, I'm going to lead you through how to do this. I'm going to mix a little bit of water into my paint. Again, my paint is really dry. This paint is old. I was trying to reuse it. And sometimes when you use old paint, it gets a little dry on you. Um, so don't worry, your kit will not be like that. Now I take a shader brush and I'm taking a little bit of paint and I'm just going to use the top edge of my brush to get into these little tiny areas. When you use the top edge of your brush, you can really create a nice pretty line. When you use the side edge of your brush, you can fill in your paint, okay? So when you're coming up to your pink, you use the top edge of your brush to kind of outline. And then when you're trying to fill it in, you use the side of your brush to fill in more space. I'm going to speed up the video. I'm going to paint this whole pig with our color number two. When, we're, when I'm finished, we'll move on to step number four. Get to painting. We have our piggy all filled in. Now we need to give our piggy a muddy home to live in. So we're going to take color number three and we are going to fill in the mud pit or pool around our piggy. I'm gonna use my nice little shader brush once again, and I'm just gonna review one more time how to use it properly. Um, you use the top edge to outline. So you can outline the outside of the mud pit. Okay, use it to outline first, then you use the side of your brush to paint and fill it in. Now this mud might take two layers to cover up the green. No worries if that's the case. Um, just let the first, just make a one layer of mud all the way across and then do a second layer of mud all the way across. So I'm going to speed up the video, finish up my muddy palace I guess, Muddy Palace for my piggy, and then we'll move on. All right, our pig has a wonderful little mud hole to live in. Now we're going to worry about those feet. So let's break open uh, color number four, which is technically not a color, it is black. And once again, I'm going to use 
my shader brush. Now you can use your round brush for this if you want. And I am going to paint uh, in little hooves for my pig. Hooves are basically like their feet. It's what they walk on. And I am just putting in a black little hoof at the end of my piggy's foot. Now I'm going to show you a trick here in just a moment after I get the whole hoof painted in, um, covering the bottom of each foot. If you would like to add a highlight to your hoof, because often hoofs are shiny, then you can mix a little bit of color number two and color number four together, and it'll make a gray. So I'm going to do that really fast. Color number four and color number two, mix it together, and I have a gray. Now I can put a little shiny portion on my hoof to make it look like it's kind of reflecting the light and nice and shiny. He's a clean pig that decided to take a mud bath after getting clean. Silly pig. Okay, so I have uh, a nice clean pig. Now guess what? Let's get him muddy, okay? You can keep the mud on the feet you could even go up the lake if you'd like to. But what I'm going to do is take my shader brush, go back to color number three, and I'm just going to do a little bit of speckling around the bottom of his foot. Now, you can mix a little bit of water into your paint. And do you remember what that does? It makes it kind of transparent, right? So you can put little dots of mud on your piggy, and it'll just make him look like he is a part of that mud. He is getting in there. You could even put a little bit of mud on your pig's body if you want to get your pig nice and muddy. You don't have to do that though, okay? Now we're gonna swirl, tap, and dry our brushes and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, we're gonna move on to our pig's face. Now we're gonna jump all the way back to color number one and we're going to draw on or paint on his face or her face. Um, you can use the chalk for this step. I'm going to paint it as we go. So first things first, let's take our little piggy's nose and paint on a nice big circle. It's gonna be at the bottom of our piggy's face and it is just one nice big circle just like that now inside this circle we're going to paint in the nostrils of our pig i make kind of some little football shapes or ovals inside the round nose and there you have it you have a piggy nose next let's talk about the eyes now if we paint the eye on like a bowl, it will look like the piggy is kind of sleepy. If we paint on a hill, it'll look like the piggy is kind of happy, like he found a muddy hole and he is happy about it. So you get to choose how you want to paint the pig's eyes on. I'm going to go with happy. I like this pig being kind of a happy pig. So I'm going to paint two very tall, big hills. I can put little eyelashes on the edge, on the outside edge of each eye. You don't have to, you can if you want. Um, you can put more than two, you could put three eyelashes. And the eh, very last thing we need to do is we need to put bowls inside of the piggy's ears. This is for the inside of the ear. It kind of looks like the letter U or a bowl, okay? So I'm painting in the piggies inside of their ear and done. Clean out your brush and we just have one more step to go. Let's move it on. All right, the very last step is to open up the last color, color number five. And you are going to take your round brush and you're gonna put some grass in the background. Right now there's a lot of green. We're gonna fill up some of that green space by doing little tiny flicks with our brush. Okay, remember, the more pressure, the thicker your grass is going to be. The less pressure, the thinner the grass is going to be. If your paint is 
kind of not cooperating with you, you might try putting a little bit of water in it. And I want you to think of the entire background all around the pig. Put maybe just single blades of grass, put like clumps of grass, maybe right along the uh, mud hole. Okay, and once you are happy, guess what? You're finished, your pig is all done. Congratulations. Um, if you want to, you can go back into your pig and you could put like a little bit of mud on your piggy's nose, like he's been rooting around in the uh, mud, or you can leave him just how he is. I hope you had fun painting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.